because we're going to be having um, a bit of a chit chat with our guests here. We have Samuel and also Divagar joining us today. Hello. 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 Thank Hi. you so much for being here. Thank you for taking time off your busy Deepawali morning schedule to be here with us yes, on exactly. a Sunday morning. Thank you for your invitation. So, right. um, of course, we have to ask, can you tell us about, um, I would say, the classical music that you just played mm -hmm. for us? Okay, what you heard, the, uh, the very first piece is, the one I played is um, actually known as Dune or it's a very light classical uh, music. You see, Indian in Indian music, we have different categories mm -hmm. like um, with uh, different names like Drupad, uh, Khayal, um, Bhajan, um, Tumri, Dune. So Dune is the lightest type. Mm -hmm. So which means uh, it's like uh, almost like film song or folk song. Yes. Where anyone can appreciate because when you talk about the uh, deep Indian classical music, it's very complex mm -hmm. and it might not be able uh, to be understood by people easily because there are okay. so many intricacies yeah. it's, it's uh, involved. Complex, yeah. Right? yeah, it's yeah. very complex. Yeah, complex, exactly. you mean like the the notes, the yeah, music musically, composition? Musically, ah, the composition. Okay. Uh, especially the, we have uh, different... Uh, system of calculation, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, when the it, counts, the beats. Yeah, mm. like uh, like in Western music, you have uh, just four, four counts. Yeah, yeah, four counts. Whereas we have 16. 16 counts? Yeah. What? 16, 14, uh, 12, 8, I see. 6. So it varies. And even uh, musically, when you, in, in, term, in term of notes, notes playing, you see in Western music, you find only 12 notes. Mm. which means full tones and half notes. Mm. In Indian music, we have microtones. <gasps> so we have 22 microtones. On top so, of that? Yeah, oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> now do you know why I don't dare? Yeah, <laughs> oh my goodness, that's crazy. That is one thing, that is musically. Right. Mm -hmm. When you talk about instrumentally, that is another ball game altogether. Mm -hmm. Because uh, sitar is considered as one of the world's most difficult instrument okay. to play. I'm wow. curious, what got you into sitar? Was it something that... My yeah. father. Okay. My father was a sitar player. Mm -hmm. So he wanted me to uh, Pick up the take instrument. over yeah, mm -hmm. as a family tradition. Because um, to tell you frankly, I'm the third generation of uh, musicians in my family. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, sitar wise, my father is the first, I'm the second now. Mm. Yeah. All right. So do you play any other musical instruments? Yeah, of course I do play like guitar. A little bit of keyboard. I mean, those are all just yeah. like my hobby <laughs> instruments. Oh, okay, so we're going to go back to sitar yeah. a bit more. Exactly. And we're going we're to touch base a bit on tabla as well. So, Divaga, can you tell us um, what got you into tabla? Is it any different from playing sitar? I know sitar is a bit complex. Mm -hmm. So, what's how, is, how does it differ? Of course, uh, tabla is, is a rhythmic instrument. Mm. It's a drum. So, basically, you're, you use more fingers. Yeah. To play the drum. Do you also have like these 22, like 16 notes? 16 uh, 16 yeah, yeah, counts? we have all that. Okay, yeah, wow, 16, okay. 8, 7, all mm. that. So, <coughs> we are mostly at companies. Okay. For like, you know, we are like a pair for Sita. Yeah. Because yeah. I noticed whenever I, I would Google about or when I would look up about Sita, there's always stuff. There's always Sita yeah, and, yeah. and... It's like a pair. It's like right. a pair. Yeah. Right? Why does it come in a pair? Is it so that the music will complement each other or does it sound a lot better when it's together? That's how it's meant to be. It's meant to, okay. Yeah. All right. You know, you know unlike, you see, in Indian music, we have uh, two system of... Uh, one is the Northern Indian system of music, mm -hmm. which is known as Hindustani... Mm -hmm. system of music. Then we have the uh, Southern Indian counter counterpart, which is known as Carnatic music. Mm -hmm. So in Carnatic music in the um, Southern Indian system, they use Mridangam, the two-faced uh, drums, okay. yep. uh, for Veena. Mm -hmm. Veena okay. is another instrument which yeah. is being played horizontally. Yeah, the, f the yeah. flat yeah. version, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, in the Hindustani system, is the sitar with the tabla. So uh, they are like a uh, like, pair. Yeah. So it's like, cannot separate these two. It has yeah. to be together. So the, yeah. the sitar and the veena, is it different? Yeah, it's very different. It's very different. Yeah, very different. But it looks a bit the same. Uh, yeah, a bit same. But mm -hmm. when you really look at it, even the way we hold mm. sitar is small. Yeah, it's like, mm -hmm. it's yeah. here. Yeah. Whereas the like like it's flat, right? Yeah, okay. like 45 degrees. Whereas mm -hmm. uh, veena is the other way around. All right, all right. So what did, what got you into playing the tabla as well? I'm very curious. My parents. <laughs> <laughs> they forced so, me at first. They forced you. Do yeah. you enjoy it now? Yeah, of course I enjoy it. Yeah. So because I've, 
I start off at early age mm-hmm. because my parents is also uh, uh, art. They mm-hmm. also uh, learn instruments and all that. My dad and my mom. So my dad used to play drums as well. Mm-hmm. Like uh, okay. they call it Indian drum, like the uh, dola and uh, yep. all sorts of this kind of drum. And then my mom used to learn vinay, and then she's a dancer also. Oh. So mm. we are like arts family also. I so see. yeah, so I got I got to learn tabla because of them. And of course, uh, at first, yeah, they forced me. And time goes by, I, I just got my interest because uh, and say partly because. My masters also. Mm-hmm. Wow! Because, wow. Yeah. You took wow. you took it very seriously then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took, I took wow, seriously because way. partially because my masters. Yeah. Because I always go to their shows and that's how inspired me, mm. and yeah, automatically developed my interest from there. I see. Yeah. Okay. okay, so are your parents still actively playing? Yeah. They are. Instruments? No, they they learn, but they are not like full time. Yeah. Mm. So of course they're not playing now. Mm. So I'm doing it now full time. Okay, yeah. we're going to bring um, our classical music in- musical instruments mm. with Deepavali as well. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is a norm because it doesn't happen in my family. Obviously, yeah. we are all not um, musically <laughs> not <inclined>. driven, <laughs> instrumentally driven. But I do have to ask, um, do you play? Is it a norm for you and your families during Deepavali celebrations mm. to actually incorporate musical instruments in your, um, I would say, Deepavali Celebration, celebrations? Yeah. Mm, in my family, not really. But I know in some families, yes, mm-hmm. they do. I mean, uh, they make it a norm. Like first thing in the morning after they have, have after they have taken bath, they would like to sit uh, with their instruments. Mm. You see, because basically, I mean, uh, my family, we are all Christians. But mm. whereas my mother's sisters, they, they are all Hindus. So we right. have oh. uh, a mix mix, right. mix of uh, both. You know, so um, you see, in some families, uh, like very orthodox, very, mm-hmm. um, they are very particular about yep. all this. So some of them they follow, but some not really. Like in my oh. family, uh, no. We play uh, I, like myself. I play mm-hmm. music at any time, as and when I wish. Yeah. Yeah. It's more like uh, I'm not that strict per se. Yeah. But right. you come with um, perhaps your whole family is also involved mm-hmm. in musical. Not whole family, only me. Mm. Only you. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. only the me. third generation. You gotta uphold that yeah. tradition. Yeah. <laughs> Have you also passed on your interest to um, your, your your kids, your the next generation, or do you intend for them to also follow your path? Ah, uh, yeah, still looking for a wife. <laughs> All right, so there we go. I purpose going to ask that so we can lead into it, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very curious. Also, um, if you could pick another instrument for you to master, um, any other perhaps Indian uh, traditional classical music, which one would you pick? I would go for santur. Oh. Santur is a 116 string instrument. 116. What? Sisitar has got 20 strings. Yeah. And wow. 20. So this santur is uh, more like a dulcimer. Mm-hmm. A struck instrument with uh, sticks, right. and it has got crisscross strings wow. uh, along the instrument, and uh, it has got about 116. I the see. sound is so sweet. Okay. So okay. my second choice will be that. Have you learned? Have you at least tried playing? Yeah, yeah, I do play. Mm. Oh, you do play. Okay. But I don't play it full time. It's yeah. more like my hobby. Hobby. Right. So you're learning yeah. it, and also because just to master one instrument uh, that takes yeah, it takes uh, a while. Whole life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Hundred and twenty strings. 100. That's crazy. Yeah. What about 16. you? Oh, 116. Yes, 116. 116. So, Devagar, you also come from a family. Of yes, musicians, musicians and artists. And so do you also? Well, I would say is Deepavali a norm for musical instruments to be out during celebrations? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So, like, let's say you wake up in yeah. the morning. This. Of course, I don't wake up in the morning. I don't sit. <laughs> go and play. Or what? Yeah. I mean, my daily routine. Of course, I practice at home. Yeah, yeah. But it's nothing. Uh, nothing so special. That deep part is the only day I need to do, you know do something, play something. It's not like that. Mm. Yeah. So, okay. but uh, yeah. We'll do some music and. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Right. It's, okay. It really differs, very, you know. Like you see exactly, Deepali celebration exactly. among families. It's very, very different. very different. Like I said, my friend's family they dance in every Deepavali, yeah, so okay. I thought that was a norm for the longest while. No, actually, no, that's um, why I said that, you know, yeah. for, well, with some family, it's. Uh, I mean, they are quite uh, particular yeah. about yes, it. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, we're gonna go. So we have a couple more minutes before we have to let you go and before I have to close the show and let you enjoy the rest of your Deepavali. Um, my last question to you would be. If you could switch bodies with each other for a day, yeah. what would you do? First of all, I wouldn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> but 
if you could, uh -huh. how would you want to experience each other's lives? Uh, very, very curious here. Yeah. I've never thought about it. It's so a really, it's a really yeah. challenging question. Exactly. It's, it's question. really yeah. challenging. About it. yeah. What about you? What would you do in uh, Samuel's shoes? Would you be playing the sitar for yeah. a would full day? Do you know how to play the sitar? No, I don't know. No. I don't. So, would you want to play it for a full day? Yeah, I would like to try. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first thing you would do, right? Like because yeah. you know. Learn to like, yeah, experience yeah. a day in your life. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a very, very interesting indeed. Again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, uh, both of you, for coming on the show. Um, before we wrap up our show here today, your last wishes, your wishes to your thank friends you and family wishes. who are watching uh, on this beautiful Dipavali day. I would like to wish uh, happy and prosperous Dipavali. Stay safe and have a blast of a Dipavali day. All right, awesome. Happy Dipavali. Hi. And Dipavali, yeah. Hi, happy Deepavali. Have fun. <laughs> You're a very fun person, <laughs> Deepavali. Have fun. That's it. Very short. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the main thing, right? <laughs>